Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to my uh, first ever um, Pixels list. Okay, so there's this movie called Pixels, all right? And it is an amazing, awesome movie. It's 16 plus, so it's not family friendly, but I do, uh, like, I really enjoy it. I played it with my kids, or I, I watched it with my kids last night, and um, I decided I'm going to go through and play every single game that was mentioned inside that movie and hopefully have some fun with it. Uh, 10, 15 minutes. It's going to be kind of like the Wizards list was. Um, and I'm going to try and stay true to the game that was mentioned inside the movie as much as possible. So the first one right here, Space Invaders, 1978. I can't find a emulator version or the specific version that they're playing. Um, now, in the movie, they mentioned this. The Galaga that exists now came out in 1986. But so, the one that came out in 1986 um, is is a newer version. It didn't have the same kind of bugs, and they, they kind of explained that kind of stuff. Um, the thing that I'm going to be playing on is over here. It's called PlayEmulator.com, and you can basically play games online. By the way, I misspelled Invaders uh, whenever I first did it, so... Oh, come on, Space Invaders, let's go. So the closest I could find was the 2600 version and the SNES version. So I'm going to hit up the SNES version because I couldn't get the 2600 version to work. And this is how easy it is. I have with me a Xbox 360 controller, a open Chrome browser, and I just went to the website, hit maximize like this, and it pretty much detects the controller, just like that. Uh, oh, by the way, um, that intro that you saw, I hope you enjoyed it, because I'm not sure that I'm going to purchase it yet. It was just kind of cool. And tell me what you think in the comments down below. Did you like it? Yes? No? Maybe? All right. <clears throat> so I'm not going to spend too much time, like, jumping in here. Uh, this is the arcade version. There was a tabletop version. These tabletops, you could, like, uh, at, uh, they were really popular at pizza Pizza places, stuff like that. Uh, the old black and white cellophane version. Uh, okay, you know what? We're just going to play the upright version. Now, this it actually has like a different background. This is not the original background because it was it, it wasn't this cool. Okay, um, credits. Dropping in my quarters. You know what? Why not? <coughs> And it's not going to be exciting, but it is going to give me a chance to, like, sit here and talk with you guys. Now, uh, an interesting little thing about the, the way the invaders worked on the original system is they would start to go faster as less things, uh, less aliens were on the screen. The reason for this was because the horizontal refresh on the screen didn't have to process as many pixels. So what would happen is it would start, uh, it wouldn't have to process as many, causing them to ooh, travel faster. Now, this was actually a bug and not intended for the original release of the game, but they found it uh, to be more challenging as less uh, aliens were on the screen, so they left it in there as part of the game itself. Now, these four things down here at the bottom, these are supposed to be my my military bases or whatnot, and the aliens are invading it, and attacking me, and blah, blah, blah. If you hit that, uh, that UFO up there at the top, I think it's worth 900 points. But the point of old arcade games wasn't to, like, finish the, uh, finish levels or anything like that. It was to try and get the highest scores. Whoa. And to stay alive. So, what you play nowadays is very much a lot different. I mean, I don't see a whole bunch of Roblox games that are based on scores. I would, ooh, gosh. I would love to see a Roblox game that was based on arcades, uh, arcade, um, uh, gameplay. Oops, whoa, miss, 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 miss. Okay, 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 okay. I hear you, I hear you. They're getting angry. It's gonna get 
real angry here in a second. Oh gosh. Oh no, they took out one of my lives. By the way, I do challenge you. Um, once we are... Oh gosh. Come on, come on. Get him. Oh man. Oh! Yes! I challenge you. Once we uh, are done here, I want you to take whatever score I've got, come over to this game, and post screenshots. See if you can beat me at my high scores. Uh, post them to Twitter. Send them to me in my Discord under the Photos tab. Or wherever you like. One thing I've noticed is old school games like this, kids don't want to play. They're like, oh god, it's so boring. It was so pixelated. But then when you turn around and you have stuff like Minecraft that is all 8-bit graphics, they're like, well, wait a second. Weren't you just playing something like this? What about Terraria? Isn't it 8-bit graphics style? So the style itself of like old school arcade games is actually coming back. Oh, I got 50 points. So it's 50 points up there. That was my second life, by the way. Whoa, gosh. Oh, these guys are not playing over here, are they? Oh, no! Okay, I got one more. I got one more. Don't waste it! Game over. Okay, fine. Oh, I didn't even see what my score was. Oh, no! Did anybody see what that score was? Somebody post down in the comments what my top scores are. If you want. I mean, you don't have to. We're just here to hang out and have fun and play some arcade games. Ooh. Now, one tip I will give you is try and take out an entire row on the end because it will force the, uh, the refresh. Whatever aliens on the very end, when they get to the end, that's when everybody turns around. So if you, ooh, oh, if you can, what is it, 20 points a piece for each one of those? Well, that guy was worth 30 points. Hold on. 90. Come on. Get out of my way, base. Oh, no. That was not good. Oh, can I get the alien? Oh, I got him. 100 points. Nice. Ah, don't let them get down too low, and don't let them get to the end. Oh, 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 oh. oh I got him. 150 points. Is that because it's my third alien? Or third UFO? Come on, now. Now, 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 now. Oh no! Oh, I scratched my nose! No! 940 points. Uh, so far, 1,520 is the high score. I don't know if that, that, that wasn't mine. What? Was it, was that there already? I don't know. That's okay. Oh, oh, what do you say? Um, one more of these? One more game? Like I said, I don't want to make these like super long videos about old arcade games. I just wanted to go through and reminisce about what I used to play on the old 5200. Oh. Or the old 2600. Do I have 52? I can't remember if I had a 5200 or if I had 2600. It was 1981 to 1983. So whatever console was sold back then, that's what I had. If you can, oh gosh, if you guys want to do some research and find out, that would be awesome. If you want, I mean, you don't have to. I'll probably figure it out later. In fact, I'm probably going to dust off my old 2600 and take it into work. Probably just to set it on my shelf. If anything is reminiscent of, oh, I got it, 100 points. I have my old power glove at work at the moment. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Get rid of this, this first. Oh, no! Okay. 790 points. Come on. No! 
I let him get down too low. I can't dodge. Whoa, whoa. Okay. We're going to be taking these rows out first. Come on, come on. Come on. Nope, nope. Gotcha. This is where it gets challenging because they start moving faster. Whoa. I don't know if their bullets go faster, but I know they move faster. 970 points once again. Ah, dang it. So close. Okay, so technically I could actually end at eight minutes because the whole new um, eight minutes for monetization thing, I'm not going to do that. I, I played for a full 10. That's it. Um, like I said, if you want to play this game, head out to um, playemulator.com forward slash NES online. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of games out here. This just happens to be the one, which is Space Invaders. Round one is done with the pixels list. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things we're supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Same outro. Same outro.